Okay, so we're back this week to make the Italian sausage pasta with the Cajun spinach cream sauce. It says it's only going to take 10 to 15 minutes, but I'm sure we can stretch it into a little bit longer than that. So we're going to be using our fresh produce. We're going to rinse it and pat it dry, and then we're going to bring eight cups of water to a bowl. This is uh, not going to take very long, so let's get started. Okay, while the water heats back here, we're going to wait. We're going to go ahead and start cutting up our, line, or our lemon. It says we're going to cut it in half. We're going to juice one side of it and then cut the other. Anybody want some ice? sausage going and then once we've got this nice and started crumbled up we're gonna get our spinach in there now we got our sausage you know medium rare hopefully you know a little pink on the inside just kidding it's all the way done so now we're gonna add our spinach to this and this might look like a lot of spinach but trust me it's gonna cut cook down really fast so you got to stir it pretty occasionally so We've got it all cooked down. You can see how easily it's done. I timed it actually just to see how long it would take and it took maybe three minutes. But uh, we're getting ready to make the sauce next so stay tuned. So now we're going to make the sauce starting with our cream here. You want to get this bowl and we're going to go ahead and put our cream in, then our parmesan and then our Cajun seasoning. It's all going to happen pretty fast, so be attentive to your stove. Alright, so we'll get this stirred up and get going. So we got this going and starting to thicken up. So we're just going to add our spaghetti back into here. About, uh, Since I forgot to save mine, this is just regular. So that's what we're going to do with that. We're going to bring this back up to temperature. I'm going to cover it now. Then it's going to be ready to eat. Alright, so here we go. Here's the finished product. I squeeze a little lemon over it. We got a little red pepper flakes on there. Enjoy cooking. 